Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. As the debate over climate change and global warming rages on, uh, there is one thing for sure. We're having more storms, which results in more flooding. High water is not good for people or property, and it's certainly not good for transmissions. Uh, water can enter a transmission normally through a ruptured cooling tank and a radiator, or it could be a result of improper drainage of water underneath the hood. Uh, water can leak into a dipstick, for instance, or even a vent. Driving down the road in high water or having a vehicle setting in high water is equally as bad. It can leak in through metal clad seals. A metal clad seal is made to prevent transmission fluid from leaking out, not necessarily prevent water from leaking in. If you get water or antifreeze in a transmission, it can certainly cause a variety of problems. Everything from rusting, pitting of parts, uh, friction material, the bonding agent, which bonds friction to the steel core, can be affected. Uh, it's a, a real problem. So how do you go about determining if you have water? You can do the old test, which pour some of the transmission fluid in a uh, hot plate, boil it, and see what bubbles. Uh, ATF won't bubble, no matter the condition, but water will. Another way is uh, some of the test kits that are available. Uh, companies like Glitech and FleetGuard uh, make kits, but what I have here are some test strips from a company called AccuStrip. These are relatively simple, inexpensive test strips, and what it does is enable you to determine if there is a percentage of antifreeze or water in the transmission fluid. Now, most test kits will not test both things. They won't test glycol and water together. Uh, what I have here is a test strip kit for antifreeze or glycol and another one for water. Now, older vehicles had dipsticks. Newer vehicles don't. And you have to put it up in the air. They'll have a uh, fill plug. How do you get the transmission fluid out? Well, Accu AccuStrip makes this handy little syringe with a hose to where you can take out the plug, put this down into the pan, pull out a specific amount of uh, fluid, and use a test strip that way. Prevents having to take out drain plugs and so on. You can't just go by the condition of the fluid anymore. The days of pulling a dipstick and seeing a strawberry milkshake are uh, going by the wayside. A lot of transmission fluid isn't even red anymore. So when you get a car in for service or repair, you want to know the condition of it, where the car has been, question the customer if he has been exposed to any type of high water, and it would be a good idea to recommend running a test uh, to make sure that there is no moisture uh, whatsoever, water or antifreeze, in the transmission fluid. And when you do this, make sure you follow the directions. When you put the uh, test strip down in fluid, you just get a little bit on this pad and wait a, a short time. And as it changes color, the chart will tell you if there is a percentage of glycol in it or the same if you're testing for water. It's got a scale here. It's simple to do, and it can certainly save problems in the long run. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.